to feed your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good evening. Good evening again, Facebook family and YouTube friends. Uh, we are back. We are live giving you the word of God. We This is um, Ministries of Hope Christian Church Wednesday night Bible study. We are under the pastoral leadership of senior pastor, Reverend Flory Williams, who is um, right there in the middle. And right beside her is um, Reverend Thomas. And we are located at 385 Garrisonville Road here in Stafford, Virginia. Remember to come on down after this pandemic and join us, visit us, um, worship with us. Uh, we are studying in the book of Genesis, and we are getting a whole lot of meat. We are getting a whole lot of facts. We are getting a whole lot of juice. We are getting a, um, fed out of this word. Um, let us go to God in prayer so that um, he can bless his holy word. Amen. Heavenly Father, I ask you right now, dear Father God, to come down and open our our understanding, Lord God. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding so that we can study your word, understand your word, digest your word, and get a good understanding from what we, we study. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Uh, over to you, Reverend Thompson. Thomas. Hello. Hello, Facebook family. So we're going to go ahead with a quick recap. This is going to be my last time doing a recap. Um, so I'm going to go ahead from where we left off at Sunday school. We left off last time on Bible study on chapter 3142. But when we went to Sunday school, we went through chapters 31 uh, verses 43 through 30 through chapter 32. So to catch you up, it was Jacob had sent a message to Esau. He sent it by way of one of his servants and the servant wound up coming back and saying, listen, Esau is ready to meet you, but he got 400 people with you. And once he told him 400 people with him, Jacob kind of got faint. He got a little bit in fear, but he went into prayer. We talked about how he went into prayer and he went in reminding God, like you said, I was going to be able to come back to my people in good standing. I was going to come back in peace. And, um, so he asked God to take care of it. Um, God, he winds up doing like he did before. He wound up doing a little trickery there. And he said, well, I'm going to split up these gifts. I have gifts for Esau, kind of like to make amends with Esau for what he had done prior to that we discussed. And then he wound up spinning, splitting them up in droves. And so that if, if he came and he was ready to fight, he would hit that drove first and somebody can go back and get a word to him. Right. So, um, after that, God winds up answering his prayer. The last thing we left off was he was wrestling with the angel. He saw this man, came upon this man. We discussed that it could have been God, it could have been an angel, but he was wrestling with him for a blessing. And that's where we left off. And we're picking up there now at chapter, um, we're in chapter 32 and verse 28 is where we'd be picking off. And with that thought is, from Jacob to Israel. So he's wrestled with this angel. He's gone back with this angel. Give me a blessing. Give me a blessing. So much so that the angel popped his uh, joint out of socket, um, his thigh, entered his thigh. And so that's what stopped the wrestling. And now we're at the point where the angel continues on. So we'll go in verse 28. Um, and it says, and he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou power with God and with men and has prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, tell me, I pray thee thy name. And he said, wherefore is that thou doest ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved. And as he passed over Peniel, the sun rose upon him. And he halted upon his thigh. Therefore, the children of Israel eat not of the, of the sinew, which shrank, which is upon the hollow of the thigh unto this day, because he touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh in the sinew that shrank. Amen. Amen. So anybody got anything in there? I want to go back up there to verse uh, 28, I believe. Yeah. Changed his name. He says, your, no, your name is no longer Jacob, but Israel. And sometimes I think if you don't know that, and if you don't know the word and you're reading, you'll want to know where did this Israel come from? But that's mm -hmm. where it is right there. The angel of the Lord, or whomever it was, 
they changed his name right there. Yeah. Okay. And, and I, I, was, I was looking up um, the name Israel. My grandfather's name was Israel. And the name of the meaning of Israel, it means he struggled. He struggled with God. That's what Israel means. So he struggled with God and he changed the name. This is the third person we've seen where he's changed his name. So we had Sarah, Sarah to Sarah, and then we had Abram to Abraham. And now we have Jacob to Israel. Yeah. But, uh, often yeah. if you are not familiar with the word of God and you're reading and you're reading and you're saying, who is Israel? And where, well, I'm inquisitive. Where did he come from? But this is where mm -hmm. it started right here. And mm -hmm. sometimes we will see when we're reading it's interchangeable. Sometimes it says Jacob and sometimes it says Israel. Israel. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I like too also in here where it talks about, um, he says, I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved because over in Exodus where he talks about, you can't, mm -hmm. when he was talking to Moses, not seeing mm -hmm. him face to face because of mm -hmm. his life, um, you, you will pass. You're not going to see God and live. That's what it what it basically right. that verse has said. That's why right. so he looked up on his behind as he walked. By. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's seen him and actually lived and his life is preserved. And then it says he halted upon his thigh. So his thigh was hurting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was limping. Yeah. He was limping on his thigh. But you know where it says um, no one will see God's face and live. And this is why yeah. the, even the commentaries will tell you that was an angel of the Lord. And uh, if it if it were the Lord, then he changed where he wouldn't see him as God because said no one looks up on his face and lives. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So then we have um, anything else to add in those verses before we move on to chapter 33. All right, here we go. Chapter 33. And um, new thought it says Jacob and Esau meet. So we're about to get into the meeting. And uh, verse one. And Jacob lifted up his eyes and looked and behold, Esau came and with him 400 men. And he divided the children unto Leah and unto Rachel and unto the two handmaids. Right and there, whatever. The let's, let's just stop right there. Now you can imagine, I think we read back over there someplace that Jacob was fearful going there because now he knew what he had done prior to leaving. Mm -hmm. He had some mm -hmm. uh, reservations about going back. And can you imagine just to hear the what beats and the hoof beats of this 400 men coming mm -hmm. that had to stir up some anxiety in him. So yes, he did yeah. separate them into two groups. He put his, um, he put his yeah. wives and children on the back. So if mm -hmm. he had, uh, Esau was going, Esau, if Esau was going to approach him, then it would get that first group first, but there was yeah, some fear there. He didn't yeah. know what his brother was going to do. Because his mother told him he's going to kill you. Yes. And that's why she sent him out over there to uh, her brother. But okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. But you see where he put mm -hmm. Rachel and all of them in the back, trying to. Save yeah, it's, got, it's just like a man. Though you have those provisions, it's like you're just in case. I gotta protect my family, and mm -hmm. he put them. Yeah, like you said, he put them in the two drove and first because he didn't know whether he was gonna kill him. He didn't know whether he was still angry or not. You know, so just in case one can get back if somebody escaped while they're fighting, they got time to say, "Listen, he's angry. We can take off." You know, and they're still exactly. preserved. Yeah, yeah. That was good strategy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Reminds me of Joshua. Look in the oh, two yeah. in the two groups. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yes. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Verse two. And he put the handmaids and their children foremost, and Leah and her children after, and Rachel and Joseph hindermost. Now and he passed you over. What he did. One second. Who did he put behind? He put the most Joseph. favorite one uh, at the back. He put Rachel, um, Rachel, Rachel and, and, and Joseph. Yes, he was still in the way, way back. Saving, saving Rachel, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then he said in three, and he passed over before them and bowed himself to the ground seven times until he came near to his brother. In other words, he and was he saw honoring, he was yeah. giving his brother honor. Yeah, mm -hmm. he was showing honor to him. Yes, I have wronged you. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm I've done wrong. And this is how we have to do today. 
we have to humble ourselves, yes. not only to God, but mm. even sometimes to man, rather than us being all haunty yeah. and stuck up. We have to keep ourselves humble. Okay. Amen. All right. And then it has an Esau ran to verse four and Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him. And they wept. And they wept. Yes. yes. So right there, they both had forgiven one another. Yes. Yeah. Both of them had yeah. forgiven one another. So this way, whenever he hugged him and he kissed him, not only did Jacob yeah. kiss uh, Rachel and wept, he kissed his brother and wept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he was yeah. happy to be back in the fold, happy to be home. And yeah. a lot of times whenever we're out, uh, we've backslidden, we're out in the street, we think we're having such a good time. Mm -hmm. But it's nothing like coming mm -hmm. home. Whenever we turn around and give yeah. ourselves back to the Lord, then we can feel that we have accomplished something. Mm -hmm. Why? Because now yeah. we have that fulfillment. But it said, this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me and the world can't take it away. Anyway. So whenever uh, Jacob, that joy that he had, both of them. Yeah. Now we are, we're talking about twins. Mm -hmm. They were twins, so they yeah. had a hope. You know, they had some type of uh, feeling toward one Connection. another. Well, it gets better. Praise God. Verse five. Yeah, and it's too true too because he had, like uh, we had discussed on Sunday school. He he was doing hard labor for twenty years. You know, twenty years. And yes. he didn't have an easy. You know, he it was a hard battle, a hard road he had to fight and go up and really depend on God. And every turn, every every way he turned, Laban was taking advantage of him, you know, yeah. trying to deceive him and everything else from his pay on down to the speckled and the spotted on down to this and that. And the third, even to the point where when he wanted to leave, he didn't want him to go nowhere. He didn't chase them down in the desert. Like, why are you gone? You know, so it was a hard battle. And then to be able to come, like you said, to be able to come home to familiar right. faces, mm -hmm. you know, and at the time, I don't know. That's a question. Mm, good. Pin that because maybe you could answer it for me. I just thought of that. Did he know his mother had passed already? I don't know. I didn't see that. I can't speak on that. I'd have to look that up. But yeah, it, it's yeah me just, too. Um, where they made up. Oh, as we were talking about Jacob, how yeah. Jacob suffered. He didn't suffer any more than God allowed him to, because the Bible mm -hmm. says we reap mm -hmm. what, what we sow. sow. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe he thought he mm -hmm. had gotten away with what he did by stealing the birthright and everything from Esau. Mm -hmm. He might have thought he had succeeded because his mother was mm -hmm. helping him. But yeah. he had to suffer yeah, for what yeah, he yeah. had done. Now, after what mm -hmm. the Bible says, after you suffered for a while, I'll make room for you to escape. Now, after mm -hmm. he suffered those 20 years, then God made room for him to escape. Yes. But you don't get away with anything in God's eyesight. Amen. He knows everything Amen. about us. You know? Amen. Yes. And then we have a uh, verse five. And he lifted up his eyes and saw the woman and the children and said, who are those with thee? And he said, the children which God hath graciously given thy servant. Then the handmaidens came near, they and their children, and they bowed themselves. And Leah also with her children came near and bowed themselves. And after came J Joseph, sorry, after came Joseph near and Rachel, and they bowed themselves. And he said, what meanest thou by, by all this drove which I met? <laughs> mm -hmm. And he said, these are to find grace in the sight of my Lord. You know, I just and like Esau the way they said, said um, they talk about droves. That's what they, how they used to leave cattles. That means a group mm -hmm. of people. That's what mm -hmm. drove means, mm -hmm. a group. So in other words, who is all of this that you're bringing here? Where did all these people come mm -hmm. from? Not realizing mm -hmm. those were his uh, sister-in-laws and the concubines of Jacob mm -hmm. and his nieces and nephews. Regardless mm -hmm. if they were by the concubines or not, those were still Esau's yeah. offspring. Yeah. Descendants, I'm sorry, yeah. descendants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, it says, where are we at? Um, uh, nine, verse nine of 33. And Esau said, I have enough. My brother, keep that thou hast unto thyself. And Jacob said, nay, 
I pray thee, if now I have found grace in thy sight, then receive my present at my hand. For therefore I have seen thy face as though I had seen the face of God and thou was pleased with me. All right, right there. In other mm -hmm. words, if I have found grace. If you have forgiven me and God mm -hmm. has forgiven me for what I've done. And mm -hmm. I want you to have these gifts. Yeah. That's what he's saying. And then mm -hmm. he also, he had to have some type of conversation with his wives and uh, children because mm -hmm. they bowed down to Esau as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that so what the word says? Yeah. They bowed down, bowed down, each group came up and they bowed down to him. In other words, yeah. the Bible says, um, give honor to whom honor is due. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they gave honor to Esau because he wasn't killing them. He was accepting yeah. them with, with open arms. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can say is when God is in it, nobody can destroy it. That's right. So man. God had him, this young man had Jacob cover, covered. He also had Esau covered, but he had Jacob yes, covered. And this is how it is with us today. Whenever we go out and we're leaning and trusting and dependent on God, he's got you. But I always mm -hmm. say, God's got it. God's and when you give God. it to the Lord, he's got it. Mm -hmm. Satan will try to knock you down as much as he possibly can. People will talk about you. They'll abuse mm -hmm. you. They'll do. And but what, what the, the Bible said, pray for those who despitefully use you and say all manner of vile things against you. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. here it is. We don't know how Esau was feeling, feeling all of those years. He'd gotten his little uh, revenge by marrying those Canaanite women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. We'll mm -hmm. find out how many wives he had. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 11, verse 11. Take, I pray thee, my blessing that is brought to thee because God hath dealt graciously with me and because I have enough. And he urged him and he took it. And he said, let us take our journey and let us go. And I will go before thee. And he said unto him, my Lord knoweth that the children are tender and the flocks and herds are with young and are with me. And if men should overdrive them one day, all the flock will die. All right. In other words, don't rush them. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, yeah. don't, don't overexert them. Because if you mm -hmm. overexert cattle or anything else, they, they can't make it. They're just like us. They can't make it. And that's just like with us. We can't be over. We can't overextend ourselves either. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That's why Jacob was running from uh, Laban. He had had enough. Mm -hmm. He felt as if he couldn't take it anymore. Now he wanted to go home because anything was probably better than your pig being cut 10 times. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. You're doing the best to make him prosper, which Laban was prospering. But here mm -hmm. this man comes along and was using him, and according to what we read, what Leah, I believe Leah said, mm -hmm. they were working for him. He sold them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have to, if but we ourselves, this day and time, we have to keep our hand in God's hand. Amen. Because they, because God, even in then, God, God protected with him running, you know, and yes, he had to, he had to suffer. He had to be punished for what he did. It also protected Esau in the same breath from mm -hmm. killing his brother and doing yes, something he that he would regret, regret yes, it. Like, you know, so God, so them coming back together and weeping, you know, is powerful because it's yes. what, what he could have did in that moment, but it be for God, you know, yeah. he, kept, he kept Esau from going further and further into something that he couldn't come back from. But he also kept Jacob, you know, in the sense of he learned his lesson and he, yes. he turned out better for it. That's, I, that's why God tells us sometimes to rejoice in all things. You know, in mm -hmm. all things, not just the good, but rejoice in the bad when we come against trials and we come against stuff because it's all perfecting us towards the end. Because mm -hmm. Esau, Jacob probably would have never learned. He learned deceit from his mother. He would have never learned. He would have kept going had he not been punished. You know, sometimes we get punished for a reason. That's what the Bible says. Spare the rise for the child. We get punished right. for a reason. And it also says in the word that a father will be quick if he loves his son, he'll be quick to discipline his son. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, that means you don't love them because how else are you going to learn? You know, 
like kids, you put your hand on a hot stove, you tell them no, you tell them no, they just got to touch it and see, and then they learn for themselves, I'm not going to do that no more. Mm -hmm. You know, so them learning and coming together and weeping is just how powerful God is in the sense, as long as we stay in him, he'll protect mm -hmm. you and cover you, you know? And what does he say? I chasten those whom I love. Yeah. Yes. I chase enough, although yeah. Jacob uh, did commit his sins. Yeah. And he had to go through turmoil, but God mm -hmm. kept yeah. him. And mm -hmm. what did Amen. Laban went out there in fury? You could pretty much tell by the reading. He was angry because here it is. Now Jacob has left when he was three days away from home. He took everything and yeah. he left. But what did God do? He approached Laban in a in a dream. Don't say anything <laughs> good. I don't say anything well, bad to him. Mm -hmm. Whenever we are walking in righteousness and right standing with God. Mm -hmm. He is going to protect us. Mm -hmm. And this is why we ask him, even in our prayers, Lord, lead me and guide me. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we always talk yeah. about stay on, stay on the straight, stay on the straight street. You can't do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. We it's can't even do room. anything. He said it is in him that we live, move, and have our being. We can't mm -hmm. do anything in and of ourselves. We depend on him or we will open up and let Satan get to us. Mm -hmm. But as long mm -hmm. as we keep yeah. our hand in God's hand, we will have the same covering that Jacob had. Yes. Amen. Because it said he was, he is, and he is to come. Mm -hmm. I'm the Lord thy God, and I change not. Okay, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And then he said, uh, we're at verse 14. Let my Lord, I pray thee, pass over before his servant, and I will lead on softly, according as the cattle that goeth before me and the children be able to endure, until I come unto my Lord unto Seir. And Esau said, let me now leave with, with thee some of the folk that are with me. And he said, what needed it? What needeth it? Let me find grace in the sight of my Lord. So Esau returned that day on his way unto Seir. All right. And I thought and it was going interesting. The brothers went in different directions. Mm -hmm. You know, there was so much uh, forgiveness there. They loved, um, we don't even know if they met up again. But yeah. that feeling was still there between those brothers. He allowed mm -hmm. him to go his way. Mm -hmm. And I'm, as I said, I'm quite sure you can imagine if you had done something against a person and you see them coming with 400 people yeah. probably get a little jittery yeah. there but you yeah. see if we're keeping our hands in God's hand there's no need of getting jittery because God's got it praise God yeah amen amen mm -hmm. mm. so he left right so right there in, in 15 he he left some men with um with Jacob as well where it says, leave with these some of the folk that are with me. So he left some of them with Jacob as well. Mm -hmm. So that increased some of the, some of his numbers. So, okay. This is personal. Okay. Uh, we have, now we're moving into another thought. And as Jacob settles in Canaan. So we're going into verse 17. If you're just joining us of Genesis chapter 33. Uh, verse 17 reads, and Jacob journeyed to Sakoth and built the, him in house and made booths for his cattle. Therefore, the name of the place is called Sakoth. And Jacob came to she Shalem, a city of Shechem, which is the land of Canaan, when he came from Padaram and pitched his tent before the city. And he bought a parcel of a field where he had spread his tent and the hand of the children of Hamar and Shechem's father for an hundred pieces of money. And he erected there an altar and called it Eshiloh He Israel. Okay, right there, uh, it says, uh, what is it, the first verse, and he built him a house. Now, when we visualize that, we visualize in house. But their house is back then, a lot of the tents. Tent. Because mm -hmm. it said he pitched his tent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in 19, where he had spread his tent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then up there, it said he uh, filled the boots for his cattle. He mm -hmm. was an all around man. 
And now you see why Laban didn't want him to leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. He knew how to do the cattle now. He knew how to do the garden and everything else too. And mm -hmm. erecting tents. And, yeah. That's if we are on jobs on our jobs today. Yeah. You know, we will take that out of the fields. We go on our job today. If we're doing a dynamite excellent job, mm -hmm. they may not pay you that much. But they don't mm -hmm. want you. To no, they want you nope. there to continuously mm -hmm. build for them. Mm -hmm. But they will let you go if you get too boisterous. But they don't want to lose good labor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good work. Hard That's to find. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And then he's doing it as unto the Lord too. Yes, you know? yes, 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 yes. Yeah. All right, we're going into Dana Defiled. Dana. All right, yes. Dana Defiled. So chapter 34 of Genesis, verse one, and Dinah, the daughter of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. All right, let's and hold, it right there. hold it right there. How many sons did Jacob have? Jacob had 12 so far. 12 sons. And what are they sons. called? The what of where? 12 tribes of Israel. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now it says he had what? One what? Daughter. Daughter. One daughter. Okay. All right. So now we mm -hmm. know that Jacob had 12 sons. Twelve sons and one daughter. Uh-huh. I shouldn't do this. What was the oldest boy's name? The oldest Say it again. One, what was the oldest Shem. boy? Uh, um, um, little, 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 little. Ruben, let's just go yeah. ahead. Ruben, there you go, Ruben. We're going to learn all those boys' names, okay? <laughs> yep, Ruben. As, yeah, we get to it. Then, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah we get That's to what it. I got. We're going to read about them enough, and then we're going to find out something about Ruben. It's just, it reminded me of David. But I'm not going to say anymore. Let's go. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. So she went out. So now Dinah has gone out to see the daughters of the land. So the land of Canaan, where they right. where they set. So she's gone out to see. Okay. okay. And we know that's um, pretty much a no no, because they were not supposed to what they wasn't supposed to mix. mix. It wasn't supposed to mingle. Mm -hmm. But uh, I read somewhere that maybe she was lonely for female companionship. The reason why she strayed away, but. They were not supposed to mingle. Today, the Jewish people are not supposed to mingle with other people. They're not supposed to do that today. Okay. All right. Verse two. Um, verse two. And when uh, when Shechem, the son of Hamar, the he uh, the Hevite prince of county, saw her and took her and lay with her and defiled her. All right. And his soul, uh, he was the king of yeah. that country. So at the mm -hmm. end, no, he was the prince of the country. So his name was also the same as the, his name was Shechem. And where they were living, the name of it was Shechem. So you know that he has royalty on him because his father mm -hmm. was, was his father was Hamar. They were the top. Yeah, they were the top yeah. of the top. But always remember, I tell you, someone's always watching you regardless of what you do. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is a good example right here. Here it is. She's out there socializing with the daughters. But here's this mm -hmm. young man looking at this young lady. Mm -hmm. And as I said, this kind of parallels there with David. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it was David's son yeah. that wanted his sister. So, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, it parallels along with that. But uh, mm -hmm. he was also, he was watching his sister, so Amon, he was watching his sister so that he just got sick. Mm -hmm. Fell so much in love with her. But here, this young prince, he's a prince of the whole country, and here it is. He see this one girl. It wasn't of his tribe. It wasn't of his people. But this was a Jewish girl, and he knew that was taboo. Mm -hmm. They didn't do that. But I guess it said they are in my land and on my uh, our property, and so I can do what I want to do. Sometimes mm -hmm. when we take matters into our own hand and do what we want to do, yeah, there mm -hmm. is a consequence for our action. And yeah, you see that right here. Mm -hmm. 
Because she went out, she strayed into where um, you would say she went into the lion's den. You know, yes, she, she strayed. Was an innocent girl. She wanted to make yes. Well, I read somewhere she wanted company mm. because she had 12 brothers. Yeah. She had a father. Yeah. So there was a whole lot of men around. They didn't say she had other, um, Jacob had other daughters. They said he had yeah. one daughter. So she went out into the countryside to meet with the other young ladies. Yeah. And sometimes we do things that we know that's wrong. But as I said, there's a consequence for our action. Mm -hmm. No matter, matter how innocent wrong, they may be. Consequence for your action. Mm -hmm. Always, be it good, bad, or indifferent, there will be a consequence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, verse three, and his soul clave unto Dinah, the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the damsel and spake kindly unto the damsel. All right, right and there, she, he was boring her. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, hi, you know, let's just imagine. Oh, hi, I haven't seen you around this part. Oh, I see you <laughs> over there playing with my, I mean, uh, meeting with my sisters or whatever. Don't you know how those mm -hmm. men will woo you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, then I tell you, there's no difference than. Then back then and us today. Mm -hmm. Young ladies nowadays, um, a young man say something to them, oh, they just get all flustered. Because mm -hmm. now this man has noticed me. And look, mm -hmm. he is the prince of this country. Mm -hmm. Notice me. See? So we, we have no wet devil or a dry one. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we don't know. But this is why what does the Bible tell us over in Thessalonians? Pray without mm -hmm. ceasing. Yes. We need to pray anytime, in a place, anywhere. Lord, is this man true? Does he really want me? Or is he up to no good? Mm -hmm. But it says that he he was watching her, and what is it? He spake kindly so cool. unto the damsel, yeah. kindly unto her, all softly and You know? So. Mm -hmm. Okay, verse four. Uh, verse four of thirty, chapter 34 of Genesis. And Shechem spake unto his father, Hamar, saying, get me this damsel to wife. All right. Five, and Jacob I want heard you all to, uh, if there's anybody out there, Facebook, compare this entire story here. Go check out David and his mm -hmm. son Absalom and Ammon and yeah. the daughter Tamar. Mm -hmm. The same identical thing happened. So if it's in there more than one time, that's letting us know it will still happen today. Today. Some yeah. of the young girls, they're beautiful young girls. They can get lured mm -hmm. into a trap. Yeah. Check out this, check yeah. out David. You see what mm -hmm. happened to this girl here. Check out yeah. David's story of his sons. And the same too is the men too, where they the lust of that eye and that flesh, and they don't know how to control themselves or hold themselves back. You know, because that's when you when you like a woman, even now today, when you're dating her and you like her, you don't defile her. You know, you exactly. don't really go out. You want to well, let's call it like it is. He raped her. You were serious mm -hmm. about her. Yeah. yeah, both of those guys yeah. raped the woman. That put it out there because people need to know defile yeah. means yeah. rape them. True. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Shechem raped Dinah, and Amon raped his sister. Mm -hmm. But there was only a little different twist between the two men. But yeah. I would say, go to the Bible, read that. It's um, it's parallel. Okay. Um, and then verse five, and Jacob heard that he had defiled Di uh, Dinah, his daughter. Now his sons were with his cattle in the field, and Jacob held his peace until they were come. And Hamar, the father of Shechem, went unto out unto Jacob to commune with him. And the sons of Jacob came out of the field when they heard it. And the men were grieved and they were very wroth, meaning angry, because he he had wroth folly in Israel and lying with Jacob's daughter. In Which other thing words, he, made, he, made, he put her on display. Had that yeah. gotten out to the people, now she would have been shunned. Yeah. Why? Because yeah. this man had taken advantage of her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now she's not fit for any other man, especially a man from Israel. Mm 
Israel, no. Like, no, uh-uh, no. Because she was soiled, committed folly, fun with her. But mm -hmm. although we'll see, it was a little bit different, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. I love the story. I guess you know. I love them all, but I love the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, verse 8. And Hamar communed with them, saying, The soul of my son Shechem longeth for your daughter. Mm. I pray you give her him to wife. In other words, didn't, um, oh, one second, didn't um, Shechem tell his father? I want that young yeah. lady. We read that already. I want her. Yeah. In yeah. other words, now I am, let's just say, the king's son. I'm a prince. So you get mm -hmm. me what I want. I can get anything that I want. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the things that we want is not good for us. Right. Amen. As we shall see. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And two, and two, yeah, because seeing that the because I was just thinking that like why he had to go to his father, why didn't he come to Joseph? I mean um Jacob himself, but it, two is because there are two different countries. They would have to make treaties. And when they got married, sometimes it's for status. We saw a lot of that where it'd be keeping each other from war and different things like that. So it would make sense that his dad will come and ask for her hand in marriage. For I him. think during that time in some places, I think it's over in uh, Egypt and places, India, places like that, you go to the father mm -hmm. and ask the father for the daughter's hand. Mm -hmm. All right. So that was our tradition back then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We've gotten so far away from tradition. In this country, we don't have tradition. We don't have anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Verse nine. And make ye marriages with us and give your daughters unto us and take our daughters unto you. And ye shall dwell with us and the land shall be before you. Dwell and trade ye therein and get you possessions therein. And Shechem said unto her father and unto her brother, brethren, let me find grace in your eyes and what ye shall say unto me, I will give. Twelve, and ask me never so much dowry and gift, and I will give according as ye shall say unto me, but give me the damsel to wife. In other words, although he defiled her, he had fallen in love with her. Mm -hmm. He'd fallen in love with this girl and he truly wanted her. So the father and the son went to Jacob and told him, give this girl to my son because he loves her. Mm -hmm. And if you do this, then we can make kind of like a tree. Then your mm -hmm. daughters can marry our men and our men marry your daughters. And then the father Hamor told him, whatever I have, I will give to you. Yeah. But that was a no-no between two cultures. And if we notice there, Jacob didn't give an answer because he was there. His sons, what it said, his sons were in the field. Right. Yeah. Now, he didn't answer. He didn't make the answer. I guess he said, just wait. I'm saying, imagine, uh, wait until my boys come and I tell them about it. And I think whenever we keep going, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, he told them it. already. He, he told, told them already. Boys, uh huh. We read that where he told them, and they were were angry. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. It was in a, verses seven through, um, yeah, uh, seven through twelve up in there. Yeah, but um, telling him that's whenever he was making the bargain with them, give me yours and whatever. But um, yes, the boys were angry, but we're going to see something else good comes out of that. Well, I'm going to say it's good. Go ahead. Verse seven, right there. And the sons of Jacob came out of the field when they heard it. And the men were grieved and they were very wroth because he had a uh, wrathful folly in Israel lying with Jacob's daughter, which mm -hmm. they ought not to be. Yes. Yeah, so they were angry. Yes. They were um, very angry. Yeah. And so now he wants to wife and he's like, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever he got, whatever you give me. So he's willing to pay. Mm -hmm. Whatever. They paid all right. Go ahead. <laughs> verse 13 all right we're going into the brother's requirement so 13 and the sons of Jacob answered Shechem and Hamar his father deceitfully and said because he had defiled Dinah their sister and they said unto them we cannot do this thing to give our sister to one that is uncircumcised all right right that there <laughs> that was right there you know that was part of the Jewish culture they had to be mm -hmm. circumcised 
<laughs> but it was it, at least it said here that the boys <laughs> answer them deceitfully. In other yeah. words, you've wronged my sister, you've wronged us. I got your number. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you yeah. get better. It goes to show you <laughs> they, they were people back then, the same yeah. as we are people today. Sometimes yeah. if you do something, as I said, mess with me, but don't mess with mine. Uh oh. That's just the way it is. You don't want anybody um messing over your kids. Yeah. Yeah. Over your yeah. siblings, maybe I could take that a little bit, but don't don't mm -hmm. mess with mine. See? Mm -hmm. And why? That's because we are wrong when we say that. They are not ours. God gave them to us to bring them up to a certain point. Mm, yeah. But we don't see it that way. Do something to one of mine, and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to put it in God's hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, still. <laughs> I'm praying. It's going to take a lot of praying. Look, Amen. man. Man, because it's true, because it's like you do whatever you want to me, but don't touch me. Because you get more offended when it's them than when it's you, you know? It's like, I can handle it, but mm -mm. yeah. And then, too, she's the only sister, like we stated earlier, with them boys, you know? Hold well, up. Well, boys, okay. not one brother. Not one brother. Yes, whether they be younger than her or older older than her, it's the truth is the same. Even with my boys now, and I see them with my sister, even with me growing up with an older brother, and I had a younger brother. No, nope. No people would tell me game, peep me on game and stuff. Don't you go mess with that dude. Don't you talk to him. Don't you do this. Nope, 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 nope. Uh -huh. I hear the way they talk to the other ones. You ain't going to be in that conversation. You know, overprotective. They really are overprotective. So, yeah, we're going to see what happens. Look. Uh, what did Solomon say? There's nothing new under the sun. Nothing changes. Yeah. yeah. Same, same way the boys felt about Dinah back then. It's the same way we feel about ours today. But yeah. Hopefully, well, he said it was deceitful. Let's just see what the deceit was. It was so good. So he said, um, good. In uh, verse 14, and they said unto them, We cannot do this thing to give our sister to one that is uncircumcised, for that we're a reproach unto us. But in this will we consent unto you, if ye will be as we be, that every male of you be circumcised. All right, now we know then that the Jewish boys were circumcised yeah. at an early age. They're still yeah. circumcised yeah. at an early age. But mm, circumcision yeah. is not, um, it doesn't mean that today. It means circumcision of the heart. But they are still mm. circumcised. And even with our boys, they're circumcised at an early age. But now yeah, just okay. think about what we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. Who are they talking to? Who are those brothers talking to? The grown oh, men. men. Uh -huh. I tell you it gets better. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then in 16, then will we give our daughters unto you and will and we will take your daughters to us and we will dwell with you and we will become one people. Mm -hmm. But if he will not hearken unto us to be circumcised, then will we take our daughter and we will be gone. In 18, and their words pleased Hamar and Shechem, Hamar's son. 19 and the young man deferred not to do the thing because he had delight in Jacob's daughter and he was more honorable than all the house of his father. And Hamar and Shechem his, Shechem, his son, came unto the gate of their city and communed with the men of their city, saying, These men are peaceable with us. Therefore, let them dwell in the land and trade therein. For the land, behold, it is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters to us for wives and let us give them our daughters. Right there. Only so he was mm -hmm. he was uh, ready to trade, do the trade off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if we go back to verse, what is that? Verse 13. And it mm -hmm. says, uh, Hamar and his father deceived, deceitfully and said, oh, no, 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 no. And the sons of Jacob answered Shechem and Hamar, his father, deceitfully, deceitfully. Now we see how the deceit is playing out. Yeah, they man. are just feeding into them. Oh, we're going to get you. Right. Only thing yeah. we ask that you be circumcised. And can mm -hmm. you imagine uh, something was going through them? 
Oh, mm-hmm. go ahead, it gets better. It just gets so much better. <laughs> yeah, because the what, what you about to do is a grown man. Woo, woo. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Um at verse 20, and Hamar and Shechem, his son, came unto the gate of their city and commune with the men of their city, saying, these men are peaceable with us. Therefore, let them dwell in the land and trade therein. For the land, behold, it is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters for us for wives and let us give them our daughters. 22, only herein will the men consent unto us for the dwell with us to be one people. If every male among us be circumcised as they are circumcised. Shall not their cattle and their substance and every beast of theirs be ours? Only let us consent unto them and they will dwell with us. Right and unto Hamer, you see a little, one yeah. second, you see a little greed plan in there? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. See, they had, they've uh, defiled the daughter. Now they're scheming. We will get their daughters. We will get their mm-hmm. cattle. Everything will be yeah. long, pretty much to mm-hmm. us. So it, they were still scheming. They were going to get everything that they Somebody. wanted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jacob and them were rich. You know, they were wealthy. They were wealthy. So now you're trying. Oh, all our wealth is going to be combined together. We're going to partake, and they can partake with us, and yes. we're going to become mm-hmm. one. And we have them a bunch of beautiful girls, and they can take our daughters, and we're going to be one big happy family. Mm-hmm. And God said they were not supposed to. Yes. Yeah. With the um. The unbelievers, which are the, what are they called? Anyway, not supposed to make it together. Uh, Hittites, all of the Canaanites, they're not supposed to um, join up with them. All right, and then we have, um, and Hamar and Shechem, his son, hearkened all that went out of the gate of his city, and every male was circumcised, all that went out of the gate of his city. All right, and I guess everybody out there knows what the circumcision is, and that's cutting off the form skin of a man's penis. Yes. And when they do that, when they are adults, and I know uh, quite a few that have done it, it's very painful. Yeah, in Joshua, so, yeah. they did it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, even now, a baby they do it. Some men are not circumcised yeah. from birth. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, we're getting into the brother's revenge. So we're in verse, uh, if you're just joining us, verse 25 of Genesis chapter 34. And it came to pass on the third day when they were sore that two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brethren, took each man his sword and came upon the city boldly and slew all the males. But you see that whenever they were saying, um, they were encouraging them to go ahead, go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. Because now if you do this, if you will get circumcised, then yes, you become one of us and we'll let you marry our daughters and we'll marry your daughters. Mm-hmm. But what did the verse mm-hmm. back then, 13 says? They deceitfully. That was mm-hmm. the deceit. Mm-hmm. That was it right there. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. Now, and that's Simeon and that Levi. <laughs> <laughs> so they kill every man that was standing. Mm-hmm. Every man mm-hmm. standing. Because what no, they, no, no, the men they were vulnerable, they were in pain. Yeah, so they now. can't they can't help <laughs> they can't help them. <laughs> they can't help themselves. <laughs> they can't even lift a sword. <laughs> they can't even lift a finger. So now, okay, my sister was helpless. My sister was yeah. vulnerable. Yes. Yes. My sister couldn't help herself. That's so right. now mm-hmm. I'm going to catch you in your vulnerable state the same way you catch her in her vulnerable state. Not one person, but the whole, the whole village of people. <laughs> got them good, okay. Yes, it did. Yeah. Uh, verse 26. And they slew Hamar and Shechem, his son, with the edge of the sword and took Dinah out of Shechem's house and went out. So Dinah son, was from from he from he uh, raped her. He kept her. Yes, because he was yeah. in love with her. Now, that's one we can say he was in love with her. Now, mm-hmm. had they been Jewish, mm. that would have been a match made. Mm. And probably not. Probably that's why they they did it deceitfully too, because now they couldn't go in there and get get her just like that. That would have Mm -hmm. probably stirred up a war. 
Right. Well, Jimmy and Levi said, I have, we have one for a year. You can have our daughters. <laughs> they lied. They told them what they wanted to hear. Yes. Right. You. Yes. As old Stan said, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. so yeah. they did just that, you know? Uh huh. I love that story because un my mom used to um, say, unjust shall not prosper. And here yeah, it is yeah. when they raped her, when he raped her, he had no business raping her. No. Coming down today, a woman should have the option of saying no. Right. Yeah. Apparently, she must have been kindly in love with him and she stayed in there. Because after yeah. coming in and Levi finished what they were doing, was they, they went in and got out and took her home? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what mm -hmm. Jacob has to say, though. And then it says, uh, verse 27, the sons of Jacob came upon the slain and spoiled the city because they had defiled their sister. Mm -hmm. They took their sheep and their oxen and their asses and that which was in the city and that which was in the field. So now they got a little greedy thinking they was going to have the asses and the oxen of them and they wound up coming taking all they got. Everything. Everything. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just, right? All right now. And then he has a uh, verse 29 and all their wealth and all their little ones and their wives took their captive and spoiled even all that was in the house. And the thing of it is, this is not like Joshua and uh, AI. They couldn't go back in there because there was no one left. They spoiled. No, they I mean, they back. took everything. They took the yeah. wives. They took the wives and whatever, like um, Shechem and Hamar. They were saying, we will give them to you. They took them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when things yeah. don't belong to us, it's best to leave it alone. Yes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh -huh. And if a woman says no, it's no. It's no. It's no. No. Mm -hmm. No. Especially in this climate nowadays, no means no. 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 Means no. 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 Which way you say it? No is no. You know. Um. Yeah. Verse thirty and thirty-one. And Jacob said to Simeon and Levi. Ye have troubled me to make me to stink among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Perizzites. And it, and I being few in number, they shall gather themselves together against me and slay me, and I shall be destroyed. I am my house. And they said, should he deal with our sisters as with a harlot? All right. Now, in other words, Jacob felt that the word was going to travel. It was going to get out about what Simeon and Levi had done. So now he's afraid that people are going to turn against him. Yeah. But what Jacob didn't realize, and I didn't see it that instance where he went to God and prayed. Jacob mm -hmm. was blessed. Jacob mm -hmm. was covered from his mm -hmm. mother's womb. We'll go back to his mother's womb. Yeah. Where he was blessed. So yeah. he didn't Sometimes we don't stop to think that God is in control. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is what we have to keep in our mind at all times. Mm -hmm. I may yes. have, this may have happened, that may have happened, but God's got that. He's in control yes. Yes. of not some things. But all things. All things, mm -hmm. good, bad, and indifferent. He's in control. But I think a lot of times it turns the way it does because we step away from our belief. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We think that we can do something in and of ourselves. Yeah. But we mm -hmm. can't do it. Regardless of what it is, good, bad, ugly, we have to give it to God. Yeah. And believe and he can do this. We can thank say. you. That's right. Yeah. What used to sing a song and he'll do just what he said. What he said. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He'll do just what and he said. That's the God we serve. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, they, and then they answer him like, well, should he deal with our sister as a, as a, as a, basically as a, a harlot, a whore? You know? a whore. Should, right. he that? should we let that go? Now, mm, it would have yeah. been had they let it go. As I said earlier, uh -huh. she would have been dirt throughout that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. She couldn't have come back to the, um, to their flock. She would have been there. She would have been there, but she would have been like an outcast to society, outcast. let's say yeah. society. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because she, she's no longer pure. What man wants her? Right. Mm -hmm. By tradition, too, the women would leave and go with the husband's family. Um, yeah. We saw that with um, 
Deborah and, and Ruth and stuff, they would go and, and, and be with the, the husband's side of the family. So for her, you know, going over there and then dishonoring her, it's also a reflection on them and their name as well. You know, that that's the hard part, mm -hmm. because even like you said, with Jacob being able to know that God is in control and that everything happens for a reason because he, God told him that he was going to give him all of that land. You know, you're sitting here dwelling in Canaan. You know, God told him he was going to have all that. He was going to have dominion, his lineage and everything else right. on that land. But it shows how human he is at some time to, to still be like, Lord, like they're, they're going to rise up. I'm, I'm few in number. They're going to come and get me. I ain't had time to build yet. You know, I'm just now leaving Laban, you know, mm -hmm. for real. Um, but we just have to, it reminds me that we have to continue to trust him at all times. Like mm -hmm. good, bad, and different, the ugly, the sad, the, the way when it looks like there's no way when you can't see your hand to spike your I'm face. What did I always say? Don't to... look at what's around you. Yeah. Look at yes. the spiritual realm. Yeah. Yeah. Because if we look at the world and what's going on out here right now, here I'm going out mm -hmm. here today with this thing over my face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. If we mm -hmm. looked at that and look at what, how many years we're going to have to be contending with this, it would kind of yeah. drive us a little crazy. crazy. Yeah. But mm -hmm. what crazy. we're doing, we know what we have to focus on in here, mm -hmm. but we're looking up knowing that even God's got that. And yeah. although we have to go out here in our safety gear, we're doing what the government say do. And when we mm -hmm. do what they do, we're doing what God say do because God says, I put the government in place. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. And if he said, I, the Lord, do that. So if God is telling us something, we have to listen. Mm -hmm. And Amen. sometimes, like Jacob, we do kind of forget. Because mm -hmm. that's the inside of us. But it said we wore daily between the flesh and the spirit. Mm -hmm. the spirit. We're still human. Yes. Thank God that we have the word of God that will put us back on the right track. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. so we're going to mm -hmm. leave off at 657 now, according to my clock. Um, so we'll pick back up at chapter 35 um, during Sunday school. Um, so if you want to continue this story, we won't be doing recaps from now on. We'll continue on at Sunday school and I'll turn it over to Reverend Hutchins. She has all that information for you. Amen. 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 Thank God for everything that has gone forth tonight and let us lay it on the table of our hearts and, and let us meditate on it and go back over the story and see how it applies to us today. Um, we have um, quick reminders that we have uh, Wednesday night Bible study. Um, be here with us, study with us, learn the word of God. Um, it's at 6 p.m. every Wednesday night on Facebook and on, on YouTube. On Sunday morning, we have Sunday school or um, Sunday school uh, or Sunday school line. You call in on the on the prior line, and that number is 605-313-5300. And you have a uh, uh, put in the, the passcode is 379088, and you'll have to dial a pound after that. Join us on Sunday School, as, as um, uh, Reverend Thompson says, we continue from where we left off here in Sunday School mm -hmm. at 930 on Sunday mornings. And then after that, we post the, the Sunday morning sermon at 10 30 so on youtube and on facebook we have the sunday morning sermons um we also um open the the prayer line after the sermon for 15 minutes if you want to pray um on um on Tuesday night, we have a full-fledged prior meeting uh, or prior online from 7.30 to 8 p.m. Again, at that um, prior line number, 605-313-5388, um, with um, the, the passcode, the access code, 37. 37 
9088 with a pound. Um, we also, um, you can visit us also on Ministries of Hope Christian Church.com if you want to do uh, uh, donations. We have um, uh, provide places there where you can donate via Square, you can donate um, via PayPal, and um, you can uh, go ahead and um, join us um and um give us you know study with us pray with us and um amen the the have i left anything out i think that's about it we have covered everything all the announcements that we have going forth we we're trying to keep you prayed up we're trying to keep you in line with god in line with the word because these times when you're you're locked in the house you need to know who is your savior you need to know who you can hold on to and call upon and get an answer from at all times so praise the lord let us pray uh thank you lord for all that we've done thank you lord that all that has been said and god just let it resonate on the table of our heart and bless us continuously for the rest of the week in jesus name i pray amen amen, amen. love you have a great night thank you for being with us be blessed, be blessed.